All right, here we are at a 2007 Chaparral Sinesta 214. We are here on the beautiful fresh waters of North Lake, Tennessee. This one does include a trailer. I'll have the trailer information posted at our website, which is where you're also going to find the current asking price. We won't mention those in the video tours because they often change until a listing is sold. Um, it is presumed to be a tandem axle trailer. But again, I'll have more details on that at the website. I should also mention that it does have a transferable slip here on Norris Lake. Fairly convenient to Knoxville. It's on the Knoxville corner of the lake anyway. Um, currently here in 2020. Summer of 2020 slips are in high demand for all, every size boat on Norris Lake this year. So if you are looking for something on Norris, need a place to put it, this one does have a slip that is transferable. Our website address is www.yournewboat.com. That's where you're going to find the current asking price of this one, along with all of our contact information. Our website is very easy to navigate. If you just open up a new tab or window and type in www.yournewboat.com, click enter, give it a few moments to load. You'll see some orange lettering. That's how you'll know you're at the right place. Click for the find your new boat button in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Once you click that, all of our inventory is going to load in order of price, starting from high to low. So all you gotta do is scroll down to get to the 2007 Chaparral Sinesta 214. Again, that's deck boat for sale here on Norris Lake. So right here on the back, we do have the extended swim platform. And this is powered by a 5.0 liter Merc Cruiser 260 horsepower multi-port fuel injected inboard outboard engine with Alpha 1 outdrive. I'll get to that here in a few whenever I raise the engine hatch toward the toward the end of the video. We got a swim boarding ladder back here on the back. Uh, we've got a ski tow hook right here. Skiers or tubers. This is where your anchor light's gonna plug in. You've got a little wet storage locker right back here near the swim platform. Alright, there's a full mooring cover for this. Of course the bimini top is uh, just fold, uh, folded back with the storage boot on it. There's a full uh, snap-on cockpit and bow cover as well as the mooring cover. Uh, right here before I even head into the cockpit, we've got a stereo remote and a pull-out freshwater washdown. There is a approximately 15 gallon freshwater tank on the boat, approximately 57 gallon fuel tank. This one's rated for 14. I'm going to just step over the seat back that I've got in place and we've got nice little built-in steps that lead down to the cockpit. And I do want to show you this seat back. Well, I should also say there's a seat bottom that's going to go there. Actually. I'm going to go ahead and put that in so you can see it. Okay, a removable lounge table will mount right here. I'll have photos of the lounge table in place at the website. But that uh, that seat bottom and seat back, well, you saw how easy it was that, that seat base slides in and out, and the back will lift in and out too. It kind of goes in this little track here. That one's not quite as easy with one-handed operation, but can be done. We've got a 25-quart Igloo cooler kind of integrated underneath this seat. I believe there's 10 cup holders on board and that includes two that are uh, integrated on that uh, removable lounge table. So again, this one's rated for 14, which is huge, especially for a 21 foot boat. We basically got the dual bolster driver and passenger seat. These are staggered just a little bit. I think the, the lock is on that one. It's going to swivel a little bit, but let me go ahead and raise the bolster for you. There you go. That bolster will pop up and down. Three cup holders right here by the driver. Um, little lockable glove box right there. Of course, that cup holder was added on. Got tilt steering here at your dash. Nice little wood grain steering wheel. We've got a uh, depth finder, docking lights, courtesy lights, navigation lights, your freshwater switch, your bilge pump, your blower and your horns over here. 
Everything on here has been function tested. You can see our depth finder is giving us an accurate reading right now. Got a working fuel gauge, engine drive, trim. The speedometer uh, was not functional during a water test, which is common. Uh, that's a the speedo intake is on the front of that outdraw. They get clogged very easily. 538.6 engine hours currently showing. We'll probably list this as 539 engine hours. Oil pressure, engine temperature, battery volt, and a Ritchie compass. That rounds out the details here at your helm. There's a 12 volt uh, power outlet. Stereo remote right here. So that's the second stereo remote. There's one on the swim platform, one here at the driver's seat. Turn that depth finder off as well. We've got a second 12 volt power outlet right over here near your passenger seat. I mentioned that dual bolster seat just a minute ago on both your driver and passenger seat. This one swivels easily. Uh, little cockpit sink right here. It feeds off that 15 gallon freshwater tank that I referenced earlier. Cup holder, little integrated storage locker right there. Just mentioned that power outlet. Little uh, waste bin, concealed waste bin right here. Um, easy accessible from the cockpit. And then I'm putting my camera in this little hatch right here just to show you. That's your removable lounge table. It's got a dedicated storage place as well as that pole. You see a little white clamp on there. That's to, going to keep it from sliding all around. And then right there, that is a 12 volt um, air compressor. That's for all your water toys. Your towables and, and the works. It's always nice to have. Right here is your enclosed head compartment and head basically means toilet on a boat. Now there's no there's no head or toilet in here. Up, there is a new porta potty that's going with this and it would mount in the floor right there from the factory. You've got a little vent with a screen. Let's see this. Show you this. This is basically where your porta potty can have a pump out. There is a uh, basically a deck uh, cap that's already there. That's that's a nice feature to have um, if you hook up a porta potty that way. It keeps you from having to manually empty that if it ever gets used. So many people rarely even use them. Well, 12 volt light here bulbs out on this side this is a clarion AM FM CD auxiliary input stereo and again this this did function I will, I will mention that three of the four speakers pass function testing oh and then right here is where your uh, toilet paper can go so three or four of those speakers are functional large in floor ski locker right here uh, we've also got snapping carpeting I've kind of got that packed up um, life jackets and water toys and the works are, are in there right now do you want to point out this little bit of fiberglass on the ski locker edge right there is uh, has a little bit of wear on it get a walk through Towards your bow, you've got a full uh, windscreen that's integrated on this one, and this would fold out. This would fold out like so. In place here, and then this slides over and locks that in place, so it's not going to go anywhere when you're going down the lake. That's for those cooler mornings or evenings, or even just uh, outside of the summer season. Slide this back in place. Courtesy light mount right here, down near the floor of your bow area. Large bow seating. Very common in these deck boats. Part of what makes them so popular. Very versatile boats. It's almost, almost a cross between a pontoon and a regular bow rider. Two more speakers and cup holders up here in the bow. I think I noticed this earlier. Doesn't look like that's going to come off. Might be uh, some, yeah, I think it is some light scratching in there. It's not through the vinyl, but does not appear like it's going to rub off. So that's why we do these video tours, show you the condition as accurately as possible to get 
kind of have to get up close to even show you that. Almost disappears as you back up. But, um, otherwise, the vinyl really appears to be in good condition. Um, the seams, not seeing wear at the seams. Um, this boat's been stored on a lift under cover. Now this right here usually will come out on the seat back. Uh, that's just with a little bit of water. Usually a good cleaner is going to, uh, to clean that part up. It's not real heavily stained and again, appears to be in really good condition. Got a small little self-draining uh, cooler integrated into your bow area right here. Here's your second fresh water wash down. So you got one of these at the, at the bow, another at the stern. And again, that pulls from that 15 gallon on board fresh water tank. And then right here, this would be your third stereo remote. So you've got your driver's got a stereo remote. There's one swim platform, one up here at the bow. One of two docking lights. The other one's right behind me here. Show the docking light right there. And move my feet here. And here's your uh, second swim boarding ladder. It's like the screws. Yeah, you're missing. These, uh, these bolts need to be tightened down. You're missing one bolt here on this track. And this, this guy needs to be tightened down. Um, anchor chain and rope are all going with it. Um, but again, the, the screws on that swim ladder need to be tightened up before this is used. Yeah. All right, back in place here. All right, time to raise the engine hatch. So the engine hatch just lifts right up. Got some gas shocks that raise that. So this is our 5.0 liter Merc Cruiser, multi-port fuel injected, inboard, outboard. Stern drive engine. Guess this has a uh, four-blade aluminum prop, alpha one out drive, leads to 1.62 gear ratio. Here's that 15-gallon freshwater storage tank. Interstate uh, 24 starting battery right there. Th this little tray is basically just for storage, just so you can put some things down in there and, and they won't roll around and roll into your engine. Same thing over here. And that's your 12 volt water pump right there. A little storage space right there. That's your 57 gallon fuel tank right there. Again, just, just under 540 hours on this. Remote oil filter, that just means it's up here easy for you to access. As opposed to, you know, on the back or side of the block where you have to stand on your head to get, get to it. Uh, I should also point out that that little wet storage compartment that I showed you earlier, this hose laying right here, is the drain for that. That needs to, to be put back in place. That's where that would mount. Need to point out those items when we're aware of them. So that's going to start to wrap things up here on this one. Again, visit our website. For the full list of features, our contact information, that's all at www.yournewboat.com. And contact us through there with any questions. We don't monitor the YouTube comment page, so if you do have questions, please reach out to us there so that we'll see your question. If you ever call us on the phone and get our voicemail, uh, just please leave a detailed message. Let me know which listing you're looking at, what questions you have. And uh, we're often in there without cell phone reception. If you leave us all the all the questions you have and what list you're looking at, as soon as we get back in cell phone range, we'll we can return your call and leave those answers on your own voicemail if you happen to miss us. That right there is a battery switch. That's an on-off battery switch. Always a nice feature, so you aren't surprised with the dead battery whenever you show up at at the boat, especially if you're you know a weekend warrior or only able to use it a few months out of the year. All right, back here on the back third of this boat near the swim platform, you see this little chalkiness in this, this blue? That's some oxidation. Okay, and a really good buff and wax. And you can sometimes get that blue to shine again. But that's, um, you can see it right around here too, near this lifting ring. That's where the, the back swim platform's gotten the most of the, uh, of the weathering and the sun. Right over here in this corner, we, we've got a few little marks. We'll, we'll have that. That'll be shown in the photos of the website. A few scratches right here. That's your uh, freshwater fill to, to refill that 15 gallon freshwater tank. 
um, before I completely leave the boat, I also want to show you your waste pump out would be right here. But again, right now it's not hooked up. But I do want to show that that, that hardware is there if you ever wanted to integrate a pump out for uh, for a porta potty that can be done because your deck plate's already there. A few scratches on on this side where I'm near the dock. I'll try to try to get the camera close and show you. One little mark there. There's a few other. Now this guy right here will probably come out in in a good buff. That's not does not appear to be in the, the gel coat. Um, there was a, a few other marks that are into the gel coat. Let me try to find them here. Yeah, right in here. That guy right there is not going to go away. These little water spots will. Let's see just a little bit of not even really wet, but all that's going to rub out. But this this mark is not going to go anywhere. And one or two other spots. This. That one right there is not going to go anywhere. That one's going to be there. And, and these guys right here are not going to go anywhere. That's just barely catching my fingernail on these guys right here. That's where it's it's got into something coming into a dock. So a few marks on either side uh, that you will have to live with or, or have them repaired. Choco repair is not the cheapest. If you're first time owner, uh, a little bit of uh, bump into this rub rail right here also. This is a stainless steel rub rail, so that's that's a nice feature. And then this is just a little black mark. Uh, this is the plastic insert going above and below that stainless rub rail. I do have these nice heavy duty pull out cleats. Uh, I believe, yeah, you've got three on either side. You've got uh, two up near the bow, one about the middle of the boat, and one on the back. So you've got six pull out and those are those are heavy duty cleats those are nice so that's going to wrap things up for us today you'll see the your logo pop up top right hand corner of the page that is to, to subscribe to our youtube channel uh, if you do that that's a great way to keep an eye on new inventory that's coming available in the north lake area thank you again for joining us this is the 2007 chaparral sinesta 214